uh, show you the last uh, distance from home he recorded and here the, the total of uh, the, the total uh, trip you made so to go in the menu we stay on the manual mode and for five seconds we pull the 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 aileron stick to the right And now we are in the menu. So over here you can see the name Mark Bird OSD and then the, and here you can see the firmware version. So you can scroll uh, the menu with the uh, elevator and the Elrond stick. First it's set home. We don't gonna do that because uh, uh, inside we can get GPS for now. Then the first, the second one is set control parameters. So you go to the right with Elron and you go in sub menu, uh, sub menu of uh, uh, set the parameter. Here, okay, here we are the amount of um, the amount of uh, gyro compensation you wanna give to the the plane. Actually, the, the best way to do that you start from uh, 100 percent and then you see actually when you fly you can see them how. Uh, the gyro reacts to the uh, to the wind. Uh, if you find that it's so sketchy, you just put a little bit down. And also, you uh, when you put RTH return to home, you see the amount uh, how is banking, how big make the circle over your head. So you go and and play with amount of gyro of the compensation, and you can adjust for roll, pitch, and yaw. Then neutral check. This is very important. For the first time, you uh, set your plane. You you put the arcbird in your plane. You go with the neutral check. What you do? It's like it's like this. You put in steady level position your craft. Then uh, would you you put always to select something? You go always the aileron to the right. So now is uh, waiting for the neural point. You make sure that your plane is level, and then you go with the aileron stick back to the left, and then back to the right, and it's saving your neural point. So you go back. So now your plane, it's uh, it, it, the the gyro is set to zero. Then you got launch assist. What you can do with this is like you can if you turn off you turn on this feature, actually uh, you can leave the radio on the floor, take your plane with your hand, start to run and will uh, take off by itself. Then here you can select the custom mode. The custom mode might on gyro because let's say we have got three position switch for the different mode. One it's auto level, the second one it's um, Custom mode that you can select, and third one it's uh, uh, re uh, return to home. My it's on gyro mode. So what you can do, you select this, and you can see you can go on over. This feature actually works just with the new GPS, where there is uh, I think they, they put a compass inside the GPS, but I'm not really sure, and I, I never used it that yet. You can go waypoint because actually this we will see later uh, has got uh, four different programmable waypoint, and uh, you can put also RTH. And uh, in my case, say I put on gyro mode. So, okay. Then force this feature over here. Actually, I don't know it's for what. So I just skip for the moment. I will try to check this later. Here you can use your hate source. I usually I pressure because it's more accurate than GPS, but you can use GPS A2. Okay. Then you have got lock direction a high feature. Uh, what does it do? It's when you leave your stick, aileron stick, right to the center, it's locked the direction uh, you're going at the height what actually what you can do it say 
you can turn it off or you can uh, you can turn off or uh, just you can select just the direction uh, I like use both so it's like a quiz control let's say then set control set RTH parameters here we adjust the angle of the actually we do we want the plane uh, reacts when you go RTH to, to max roll I put I think default for default they are 50 50 degrees or something like this I found in the in my plane those are sweet ball uh, at the best is because I don't want the plane to go hard, hard banking and uh, so 30 degrees for me it's perfect and the elevate angle it's 5 degrees that means that when try to reach the the um, safe eight um, it, it's not going like vertical you know it, it take a gentle uh, amount of uh, elevator to go uh, to the the safe eight so uh, the throttle it's managed to be at 50 percent it's like my uh, cruising uh, uh, my my it's my cruising speed and uh, auto throttle yes so it will manage the, the throttle with um, uh, you manage the, the, tr the amount of throttle with wind if we go against wind you will manage the, the amount of throttle give it to uh, for the plane and then uh, here this is the safe speed I put 55 kilometers per hour that is suitable for me you can put I spend which model you fly then uh, the altitude I put that always I change depend what kind of uh, fly I do if I, if I fly close uh, actually I don't mind if you go for long range you, you better put higher Otherwise, if you go at the and you are, let's say, a thousand meter, you will slowly go down to 350 meters. But that's up to you. And then uh, throttle safe. That means if RTH is engaged and uh, you are uh, and your plane is uh, less than 30 meters far from you, the throttle will not uh, start. Then. OSD parameters. So here we have just here you can choose the a big letter or small letter in the in the in the main screen. You, you can choose if you want to choose your uh, your uh, GPS coordinate. The calibration. I strongly recommend you to do this. The first time you put your battery, you check the tester, and you see if the project voltage is right so you can uh, adjust to match your uh, battery and then uh, here over here you can go on between uh, uh, three different OSD um, uh, pattern I used the, the one I showed to you is uh, the default mode and then you can go uh, fighter mode it's uh, you've got um, much more information simple mode you've got just the, the the, sim the, the basic thing that you need is like uh, voltage, uh, direction uh, then here you can choose which kind of video you are using NTSC or PAL show RSI here you can choose if you want to show your RSI on the screen and then this one is for uh, the current milliamp calibration the unit you can choose if metric or imperial low power alarm that you can set depend if you are running uh, 3s or 4s or 5s or 6s or whatever you choose the lowest voltage when you want the start blinking on your screen then okay over here we've got flight mix gimbal actually the gimbal you will see the gimbal just if you run PPM signal in 
okay otherwise it's like this here actually what you do here is to inverse or uh, leave normal the um, the the servo the direction of the auto level you check you get your plane in your hands and uh, he, uh, to check if the compensation is right let's say you put the nose down so the elevator has to go up uh, you bank to the right and uh, the the plane should compensate to the other uh, to the other side so you can change uh, if those values are not correct for you you ch you can uh, reverse from over here or on the over there you can see it's right key one key two key three key four you can you can reverse from here or over the sd on the menus then uh, you've got the mix here you choose which kind of plane you got you got a, like mine it's a v-tail plane you can go on a flying wing or normal it's a fixed wing do this then for the gimbal roll and pitch actually you can put a two axe gimbal on the on the plane if you run ppm and here you can just the the value of the the compensation you want to use with your gimbal it's, you can run a, a, a servo gimbal then you got fence area set with this things this feature if you turn on you can uh, let's say put a fence where you don't want your plane go uh, if you don't want your plane go uh, over uh, you can uh, go up to 999 meters and uh, let's say you don't want your plane go over this distance actually what does do when the plane hit the distance you will go in a rth return to home mode and you can set from the place where you are, the north, east, south, and west distance, and the, the safe height you don't want to pass. 